People often ask me about what I want for my own funeral and some people assume that it's, it's a hard question for me, but I do, I am a funeral celebrant alongside my soul midwifery. So thankfully I'm aware of the choices and options that are available to me. So I have my funeral planned to a T. I have a three day event. I'm having fireworks. I want myself and my coffin at my main wake. I want people having a glass of Pinot Grigio. I want the ring marks on the coffin left. I want laughter, I want videos, and I want a lot of cake. I want a big affair. I love the concept of a funeral. You might've heard of that where um, I hate being, I hate missing out. So I'd hate the thought of all my friends and family gathering at an event and a celebration of my life and I'm not there. So I'd like the idea of having a big party if I had the knowledge that time was precious and I was dying. Um, I would some, want something very simple, but I think for me it would be being organized and, and my family knowing that I like piano music um, and that it would be a celebration of life with some really good champagne and that importantly that they'd go and have a really good holiday with my ashes and they'd sprinkle my ashes around lots of different parts of the UK where the beaches that we like to go as a family. The most important thing that I would like for my own funeral is for it to be as natural and um, with as little impact on the environment as possible. When I say natural, I don't just mean environmentally. I also mean the atmosphere, the, the whole vibe of it. Uh, most importantly, I don't want it to happen in a chapel of any kind. I would like it to be outdoors, if realistic, in Britain. Um, I live in Brighton, so by the sea would be amazing. I joke a little bit that I want a funeral festival, but what I mean is that I want it to, could be like a whole day event, so people can come and go as they feel, as it feels right. Yes, I do want my story witnessed as well. And I know that that can be done through different people. It can, it can be a communal effort, both with people sharing stories and maybe my friend leading a kind of ceremony. What would I like for my own funeral is a question that comes up a lot for celebrants because we're all friends and my best friend is a celebrant and she knows what I have to have. At least I hope that she has remembered. So I want everybody to wear flowers. So if you're coming, I hope you don't have to come to my funeral, but if you have to come, I would like you to wear a flower and a buttonhole or a headdress, bring a bunch of flowers, but I just want masses of flowers, make sure they're British grown and they're ethically sourced. But I really would love seasonal flowers, dahlia if you can find them. I'd like a woodland burial and I would like everybody to sing with gusto. I'd want lots of music, maybe a desert island discs approach, <laughs> you know, significant Mo uh, moments in my life and how they're punctuated by music, possibly. I think that one of the most beautiful funerals I've ever attended was one in a natural burial ground. And we'd done half the ceremony and then this huge white horse turned up and the coffin was laid on the, a cart. And the, we all walked behind it at the horse's pace, which was a lovely ritual in itself, just sort of chatting gently with people and resisting the urge to get your camera out and photograph the horse because it was so stunningly beautiful and it was a day like today and it was in the woods and it was on the South Downs and it was just very magical. For my own funeral I find that actually my wishes have changed over the years. It's something that I've considered back from my nursing training in the early 2000s and as I approach 50 myself I find what I want is maybe a little little more authentic to who I am developed into as an older adult. Initially, I wanted something quite traditional, and I think now I err towards a woodland setting, and it may evolve further.